Pro Mixer. Seems like it does a pretty good job of mixing. But some of my first impressions of it were that it seems kind of cheap. The plastic lid doesn't exactly instill confidence. It, the, the whole mixer itself is plastic covered by rubber. Um, they're kind of <laughs> kind of cheap looking suction cups on the bottom and the bottom's also plastic. Um, even though they may have only cut corners on the outside and not the inside, it doesn't do a lot to instill confidence for your first impressions. Um, in fact, the suction cups are there because the motor and gears and everything are in the top half and there's no weight in the bottom because it's plastic, so you have to have suction cups to make sure it doesn't tilt over as it's vibrating. Not to say it's really super light or whatnot, but it's kind of top heavy because it's the heavy stuff's in the top. It's pretty easy to use. You can flip that lever there and the lid comes up. If you put it all the way up, it stays in place. The um, attachments are pretty easy to, well, pretty easy <laughs> to attach and remove. Um, it's got, I like the fact that the, hmm, maybe don't do this one handed. I like the fact that the splash guard is attached to the top and not to the bowl because you can push it up and get completely complete access to the bowl. Um, it's got your on off button back here in the back and then you can turn it on. But watch when I turn it on. It's when I turn it to position one, it kind of starts out fast and then slows down. And I don't remember that being that way with our KitchenAid mixer. We've had three KitchenAid mixers other than this. So as you see, it finally got to the one speed. And I'm not sure if it starts out fast in case there's something thick in there that would keep it from spinning or something, but it does it just seems weird. And it feels like it's going to splash stuff out if the splash guard isn't in place. Um, but other than that, I mean, it does seem to do a pretty good job of mixing. And I guess if a mixer cut corners, I'd rather them cut corners with the plastic outside if they were putting quality inside. And it sounds like it is. I mean, it's a 700 watt motor. Supposedly the gears are all metal from my understanding. It does have a two year warranty. But first impressions are hard to get by. I'll be sure to update this if I have any problems with it. But um, I'm just not completely sold on the appearances being cheap compared to a KitchenAid. Currently, it is less than a KitchenAid on Amazon, but I've seen lots of sales on the KitchenAid where it's a lot less, and the supposed retail price of this being $500 is kind of insane. A um, few other little knickknacks. It's got this bumpiness here, which really which is kind of a rubberized stuff. All of the black is rubberized. And it, if you get a bunch of flour in between the bumps or something, it, it seems like it's a little bit of a pain to clean up. Um, it does have seven speed settings. <laughs> As you can tell, it can be pretty noisy, but I don't know, our KitchenAid's kind of a little noisy too. It does seem like this is a little more high-pitched than the KitchenAid, and to me that seems, again, a little bit cheaper. It does come with your other attachments. You've got your um, whisk, your beater bar, and your bread hook. And again, I don't have anything to mix for you right now, but it does seem to work pretty well. And I don't want to knock it too much for a plastic exterior if it's a really good product. But again, it's just really hard to get past first impressions. Um, so 
I'm kind of rating it about 3.5 out of 5 right now. And most of the kitchen aids I'd rate 4 or 4.5. Going ahead and rounding it up to 4 and see how it goes over the next few months. If it continues to work well, maybe I'll up that. But um, we'll see. Thanks.